go back to kind of the the world of bodybuilding and the things that are there. Yeah. So it's bodybuilding physique. I mean, the, the things evolved at a massive level in the last 10 to 15 years. I mean, if you went back 20 years, it was bodybuilding. That's what it was. And there That's was, all. there was two different classes. Yeah. And then yeah. there was, there was the natural side of things right. that, that hung around for a little bit. And then <laughs> that one fizzled out. Or that, went to its own. That went uh, away. But then they try to kind of try to meld the two different types of physiques. Right. And now that's what you have. You have this massive uh, amount of classes out there, right? Yeah. There's 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 classic physique. There's fitness and women's. And, well, there's you know, the physique, women's, classic physique, body, two different types of body bodybuilding. Yeah. And then you have all the pro, uh, what, it was, it's bikini, or it's fitness, bikini, bodybuilding for on the women's side. There, well, bodybuilding had gone away, oh, okay. right? And then they're, I think they're trying to bring it back. And then there's, there's this other one's like kind of sport thing basically it's for i don't know i think it's trying to honor the more i'm just gonna uh, i don't know so I, <laughs> but i think they're trying to honor the more like athletic build uh, gotcha. yes. right versus uh, the bikini build right. the body it's the more athletic build it's the it's the it's the athlete that you know played actually, a power sport or you know athlete, or whatever yeah. that's got you know that isn't proportioned like a like a, a, a bikini, bikini, like your, your, your traditional uh, Hawaiian tropic bikini model that has right. some muscle on her, you know, anymore. The thing has just gotten kind of wild, right? And it's like a, yeah, it's like a way, I'm using this word way too much, but oversaturated. I mean, oh, there's, you see these smaller shows business. that have like it's hundreds huge. and 50 women like lined about the door to do this. I can't do it. I went I'm to like, one a couple of years ago, had a, had a gal that, that, um, that we were really supporting as a good friend of ours. And we went and, you know, she was ultra disparate. I was like, she's the fucking winner. Like, and of course I'm biased, but I'm looking at it going, she's fit, man. She's yeah. in shape. She's nope. No, you know, because, like, and, and go back to the politics, yeah. right? And all the Who other your coaches. Well, what, what did you do to get there? Right. How Who, long have you been doing this? Right. Like the Ryan Terry. Yes. You go into that, but yeah. like, you know, yes. One of the best midsection of torsos, I think ever personally, me personally, I do. And he, you know, he had to earn his. Right. American, so you got to stay in, you got to stay in the, in the, in the, in the game for a long time. Right. And, you know, again, this, this, We'll maybe talk about the culture. The culture is really different than it was. I mean, I think if we went back, I mean, we were kind of talking about this earlier. You go way back, way back. Obviously, it wasn't as saturated. It was a right. little bit, it was a lot more obscure, if you will. Well, it used to be freaks. Yes, right? freaks. In the 70s and 60s, people thought you were like, you had an issue. Well, it got like that again. I mean, when you start to see the thing grow, then it was like, who can get the biggest, blockiest, who can get just. I mean, it's interesting. Yeah, I think there's like a historical, get crazy. I think there's a historical perspective because and I don't mean to digress, but I think when things got too like pretty for men, like, I mean, people don't really realize like in the 60s and stuff when poses like guys had accessories that they were posing with and it became a little bit homoerotic in some regards. And so I think that when Joe Weider came in, he wanted to show a side of like, this is a manly thing. It's you the know? masculine. Like you, they side. limited like the type of like bikini or thong or no more thongs that could be worn it had to be a speedo type of thing and so he changed all that to create a little bit more of a masculine look to it and then when that still didn't work other than arnold and some guys and they were still questioning the sexuality of people then that's when it turned into the mutants and not to be rude but like the big freaks that like you could that look no more like the arnold schwarzenegger like arnold wouldn't even win today if arnold's old body right would have not won in a men's body not now. show yeah i mean you you put him in the classic category yeah he would probably. have been classic yeah he'd he'd been be classic. With like yeah those guys yeah but i mean the drugs and obviously the, the drugs the workout improved and, uh, yeah, everything's everything. improved yeah every nutrition, supplementation everything's improved it's evolved i mean yeah. there's been a ton of innovation there's technology there's all kinds but of like stuff. does that mean necessarily you have to look like that though i don't i don't know like i i I don't have an answer for that. Bigger, better. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was a part of that. I mean, I was at the I was at the Olympia was the last Olympia with Yates and uh, and Coleman, and I mean, those were the days. I mean, some, there were some dudes out there. Then Marcus Rule was still in the game. Like, I mean, this Canadian he'd come down and just be like, "What the fuck? Like, what is that? <laughs> like, what is that? How, like it was crazy. Yeah. And, and and by the way, Jay Cutler was only like 22 years old yeah. at the time. And then just wa looking at him walking around the expo or whatever going, how does a fucking 22 year old kid look like that? And then look what he went on to do. Yeah. My, the whole point of that was, is yeah, it got, it got pretty freaky there for a while. And even still, if you walk, walk in, you look on stage, I think it is a bit more aesthetic than it was, 
Um, but we're going through like these ebbs it's, and yeah, flows. There's, yeah. It kind of kind of goes back and forth. And and the the athletes really evolve the really evolve the sport, right? They kind of decide, but then at the same time, let's go back. There's the politics there's and the judging. The politics that determine and, that. Yeah, and I the think. judges say who wins and who right. doesn't. And you don't know what they're looking for this this show versus right. last show. And as you mentioned, there's a hundred shows with 150 people, right. and they might be looking at different things. I think the industry's trying to get their arms back around that. A yeah, little bit Arnold more. called him out a little bit on stuff. Like, I mean, he's adamantly spoken out about, I'm not telling anything new, but like about, you know, this is turning into a freak show and like this needs to be kind of brought in and reined in. I mean, he's been very vocal about it even at his own shows. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. I just think it's interesting. Yeah. Cause I think that, I think the days of like, even when he, right, if people would have seen Arnold today, they would have been like, oh man, that's an amazing body. And it's kind of achievable. Today now, like you look at these big dudes that are like, you know, their thighs are bigger than my waist or bigger, like that's not physically achievable for anybody. So I think that you kind of lose, it's almost going back in time. Like people are like, oh, that's a freak. Well, yeah, it, it, like what they thought back then, you know. It gives it's people an opportunity with the with the different with different classes and things, it gives people an opportunity to actually get in the game and compete without having to take it to that level. Right. To, to a certain extent, but again, but there's some delusion between that because like, there's a lot like physique came out originally to be board shorts, beach look right, right. now. They're just smaller bodybuilders that are fucking shredded as hell that they, they look crazy. Right. Yeah. And a lot crazy. of them pre competition are big fuckers. Yeah. So that's not, they're just like, not as big. Right. There. And they're wearing board shorts. Yeah. Cool. And then classic is pretty much bodybuilding. It's I mean, basically just a, just a, it was a lower weight class is right. what, what you're looking at. Yeah, right. and then you look at the dudes that are in classic; they're bodybuilders, just yeah. wearing square cuts. Yep. Yeah. So I don't. They just haven't reached that level right, of yeah, and and things craziness. are more proportional and more aesthetic, if you want to call it that. But I just think it's funny the people use the term aesthetic and they got like blown out shoulders and like I'm like aesthetic is. Not it's all that. so I have the beholder, right? Yeah, I, mean, I guess it is. Yeah. <laughs>